All right, I have to remake this video because the guest teacher from fourth grade came in and interrupted me. So I have just showed you how to divide all these in half, but now I'm gonna do it again. Um, so we've got one half that you are going to draw, okay? So you just do one line in half and color in half, okay? This is how many fractions equal one half. Here are five examples. Well, you've got one half, that equals one half, of course. And then you're gonna divide the next one into fourths. So you do one line across and then the line straight down and color in half, two of those, which as you can see there is equal to one half. And then you've got, um, what, sixths? So three sixths. So you're gonna take your line, your circle, divide it in half, and then do, and then do, do two more lines, and then do like an X, okay, with a line in the middle, and then color in three of your six, and then you've got eighths. So what you're gonna do for this one is draw your line in half, and then you're gonna do like the line in half, like fourths, and then you're gonna do an X because you're gonna divide those in half. And then you're gonna color in four eighths. And then you're going to, see, I don't know if you can see these. And then you're going to do um, tenths. Okay, this one is really tricky, so, or more tricky, I should say. So you're gonna do your line in half. And then you're gonna do one, two, three, four more lines, okay? So this one you just gotta kind of, guess what are you doing so one two three four and then you'll get one two three four five on each side six seven eight nine ten and color in five of those ten all right so there you have your circles and I have them all drawn out right here and color in half all of these fractions. So anyways, notice that the number of each fraction is half of the denominator. So what you um, are seeing in this is you have the number one, and then you have the number two, three, four, five. Those are the numerators, the numbers on top of the fraction, okay? And now how to figure out what, because it's half, you know all those are equal to half, you just double the top number. And so what's one plus one? Two. What's two plus two? Four. What's three plus three? Six. What's four plus four? Eight. What's five plus five? 10. In this particular example, it's going up by ones on the top, one, two, three, four, five, and it's going up by twos on the bottom, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. All of these fractions equal half, because the top, the numerator, is half of the denominator. All right, example one, jumping right into it. Which fraction is not equal to one half? You have nine eighths, so you have to ask yourself, what is nine plus nine? That equals 18, which, lo and behold, that is half, and we're looking at the one that is not equal to one half. So 10, we have 10 plus 10, that equals 20. Oh, that one is not equal to one half. Now let's just double check the rest of them to make sure they're not tricking us. We've got 25 plus 25, that equals 50, so that one checks out. And we've got 50 plus 50 equals 100, so that one checks out as well. Um, example two, so we found that B was not equal to one half. Example two, Joe ordered two pizzas for his family. Meat was sliced into twelfths and cheese was sliced into eighths. So the two pizzas were meat and cheese and they were sliced into twelfths and eighths. The family ate all but five of the meat slices and four of the cheese slices. Compare the fractional parts of the pizza that were not eaten. 
So they did not eat five meat pieces. Okay, so we have five meat pieces that they did not eat. And now how many meat was sliced into twelfths? So we have five twelfths here. And then we have our circle to compare them. And four and ha four cheese were left. And how many cheese slices were there? Eight. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. I noticed that four is half of eight. So this is equal to one half. So I'm gonna reduce this one, one half. And is five half of 12? No, five would be half of 10. So that means that this one is smaller than one half. And this one is equal to one half. So one half is bigger than this five twelfths. Because if, if this was six twelfths, that would be, then they would be equal, but it's smaller. Because if we can look right here, I have cut these pizzas into how their perspective slice numbers. And if this pizza has 12 slices, I'll start this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and I eat five of them, one, two, three, four, five, I can see I haven't eaten half, because if I had eaten that slice, it would have been half, and four eighths, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if I have eaten four, if I have four of these left, one, two, three, four, okay, um, this is how much this, so this is how much they did not eat. So they ate more of the cheese because they ate half of it and they ate less of the meat because they didn't eat, um, they ate more than half. So four eighths is bigger than one half, is equal to one half. So that is bigger than five twelfths. See, this way, this one is smaller than this one. All right, and now for your lesson practice. This is A. Think of a counting number, double it. So a counting number is any number that's a whole number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, could go all the way up to a thousand, any whole number. No halves, no point anything. Double it. Then write a fraction that's equal to one half using your number and its double, okay? So for example, none of you are allowed to use the number three, because I'm gonna do three and you can't copy off of me. So three is my number, doubled it is six, and my fraction is three over six. All right, B, which of the fractions does not equal one half? So please, they, we have A is seven fourteenths, B is eight fifteenths, C is nine eighteenths, and D is 21 40 seconds. Which one is not equal to one half? And then for C, it says compare 5 eighths to 5 twelfths and compare 12 twenty fourths to 6 twelfths. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you on Monday.